Hello, welcome back to the realm of Vastin. Today, we're going to be building a church at the end here in Adri because we're doing some projects that are going to be required over in our little halfling uh, kingdom that we're working on. And uh, we need to be able to repair tools, right? With ease and, and uh, there's some digging here. We'll get to all that after this. All right, I am here in Adri, joined by Old Gray. How's it going? Hey, hey, how are you? I'm good, and Mollus is somewhere in the cave here. Uh, Mollus? Yes, I am haunting you guys. This is the mysterious voice of Mollus, one of the one of the most masterful builders in the entire world, um, who is uh, uh, difficult to track down on, on uh, voice sometimes, but I'm glad she uh, agreed to join us today. Uh, what we're doing today is we are beginning to build the leaf canopies for, um, what's the name of our town? Andir's Rest. Well, we are uh, in the catacombs underneath uh, Azure, and we're building, cutting out big square blocks to 32 by 32 by 32 to put in our leaf canopies. That's different right. shapes, different sizes, all that good stuff. Yes. Yeah. To make the Andrew's just really dark. Yeah, it's going to make it really dark. I mean, because, you know, we already it's not like we have a mob problem already, which we definitely yeah. do. <laughs> definitely. Um, but, uh, yeah, we thought, you know what, we, we've we run into a problem, and I, I apologize for my screen right now. It's extremely dark. I'm looking for coal. Oh, oh Greg, can I grab just a few torches just to uh, light up my way? Oh. I have none. You have none? Yeah, I, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just even, like, ten or something. I'm sure I'll find coal. Go. There you go. Okay, thank you very much. So, yep. uh, you know, we, we realized that over in Andrew's Rest, there are some really cool trees developing and stuff. I mean, I'm speaking of myself, I guess, which is probably arrogant here. But but there's some nice, nice like, trees, but but we're going to need, like, like dozens of them, uh, which may not be realistic uh, to build that many of those trees. I found diamonds. Um, yeah. So, For gold? Well, uh, we you know we we, we kind of need diamonds actually. We're 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 a little shy on the, in the diamond department here, uh, given all, all the new people who've made gear and everything. Uh, but so instead of maybe build the giant uh, extravagant trees with all the really detailed branches, all that kind of stuff, maybe what we should think of is instead of that, like a real sprawling sort of tree style, maybe we should think a little bit more pillar-like trees, and right. uh, that just disappear into the canopy of leaves. So. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be building 30, well, 32 by 32 by 32 boxes, and that's where we're gonna be putting in the leaf, the structure blocks. And if you're new to the realm of Vast, and one of the things that we do do in creative is we fly in custom trees. So this is gonna be our own way of bringing custom trees from the Arbor Druids. So there's lore behind it and all that kind of stuff. The Arbor Druids are kind of responsible for these big trees. Uh, so that yeah, that's the plan. So we're gonna be digging out for quite a while here. I might bring in the uh, the spectator account and grab a bit of a time lapse here. But we're gonna be digging out, I think, about ten of these thirty-two by thirty-two by thirty-two holes. Uh, that way we can have my thinking is five ball-shaped leaf that are really like tall, and then maybe five that are a little bit more spherical for if you want that. Because I mean, a lot of the time we'll probably not want a giant thirty-two tall leaf. We'll want more like. 10 tall, but 32 wide, you know, so that kind of style. Right. All right, well, let's get to digging. Let's get to digging. this.
All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the little time lapse. And uh, now it's time, that's not done yet. We're still working on it, but I just got back from the end and it just drove home the point even more so that it's time to uh, to, to repair my tools. So I got to lay out the foundation of a church at the end here. And I have a, a, an idea that might be kind of fun and stick with kind of the Adjury sort of theme that we're going with, which is a, a very colorful theme. Lots of um, leaves going up the side of, of houses and all that kind of stuff and so the first thing is i guess we should try to figure out exactly what sort of shape we want to go for here so i'm thinking actually a circle instead of go the more traditional church let's go circle let's go one two three four five six seven one two three four five one two three one two one 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 okay and then we'll repeat that pattern all around after I get the main circle laid out, then the next thing I'm gonna do is start to fill in the ground, trying to make just kind of a design out of this dark oak and andesite pattern. I got everything all filled in and I think I'm ready to start building some of the structure now. So this is gonna be fine. This is a fine place. We're gonna be a uh, pews gonna go around in a whole circle, just kind of like the one in Kalaho. I think that'll be really nice. We need to first build the entrances. And I know I went over this road a little bit, but the shape is really nice. So I'm just gonna move the road just a hair. I hope no one's mad. What we'll do is we'll we'll make, we'll make it interesting. We'll make it work out really well. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do probably here is come up with some sort of, of of main tower structure. So what I'm gonna be going, I'm going with four towers here, 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 and there on the four like uh, axes, <laughs> axes, is that what it is? And then, and then one big uh, tower dome sort of situation up in the middle. I think it's gonna be a really cool look. It should be fairly simple as well, honestly. So uh, first thing here, let's go. This is seven. I think that's gonna be a really good size for a tower. So let's keep it at seven or nine. Yeah, let's go nine. Let's go one more out. And then what we'll do is we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm, I, I'm changing my mind right now. I want it to come out a little bit. I want it to come out just a little bit. So these, oh, like, see, these don't have the corner blocks right here. These do. So I'm going to leave that there. So let's go one, two, uh, three, four, five, <laughs> six seven, eight, and nine. Uh, that should be good. And then as long as I come across here, one, two, well, that's all right. Okay, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, it should be in the same place. So one, two, three, let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's good. Okay, well, time to repeat that. Oops, uh, time to repeat that, I guess. Let's do that uh, three more times. <laughs> Got some towers put up. This is good. This is just temporary so I can get up just in case I fall. And underneath here is where the, the drop to the end is going to be. And um, I'm going to do something a little bit more interesting. Since we're in Adjury and this is all supposed to be wood and arbor druids and stuff, I'm going to do something a little bit more interesting here than I have in maybe the other uh, churches of the end. But the next thing I want to do is I want to grab, actually, first thing I want to do is I want to put away my andesite because I don't need it for a minute. Put that away and i want to grab white terracotta i found a whole giant chest of white terracotta here and i'm so happy about it because i want to use it it's exactly the color i want to use actually and what i want to do is i want to come up here i want to go the whole way around three or maybe four blocks but i'm gonna to have to take a look at it and i want to do basically in between these towers the whole way around white terracotta and then we're gonna to start to bring the roof in already. I know, seems a little bit early. It, it probably does, but I need to know where the central tower is gonna to be. And the only way to do that is by bringing this roof in and we're gonna do some slab roof. I think it's gonna be cool. Uh, why don't we time-lapse this? That'll be fun.
All right, well, hey, that was a lot of time lapse, right? That was a lot of minutes. That was a lot of minutes. Let's take an up close and personal look at what we did during that time lapse. I, I really, man, I really, I really think it went well. So uh, yeah, so I, I went with this. Here's the here's the church. Here's the here's the basic church idea. I've just been adding some leaves. I don't think those made it onto the time lapse, but uh, you've seen people place leaves. I would imagine. I would imagine you have. So this is uh, this is the plan. I went with the granite on the bottom, just kind of hold this up. I've done this similar wall design before, but I thought it was nice, and I haven't done here, you know. And and I went with this. I wasn't really sure about the slabs, but you know what? I think it's kind of cool. It's a little different than what maybe I had done before, but I'm not done with it yet. There's going to be some other things. I want to have some like uh, fences coming down, like hangers. There are going to be some extra support for the for the fences. But before I do that, I need to figure out where the trees and stuff are going to be and speaking of trees i want to do a tree on the top of the church my thinking is that these guys wouldn't just have a completely closed up building for such an important place right they might have an actual tree or two or three inside the church that's going to come up through the roof uh oh it's nighttime there could be a tree right about here. Wouldn't that be cool? I think that would be cool. So let's take it out. Let's take out the roof. We'll do a little bit of this together here. And I don't know how big it's gonna be, but I'm thinking maybe we're gonna do a three by three. I think that would probably make the most sense. And that way we can do a really nice uh, sort of design. So uh, let's go up here and we'll do, I just made some stone brick slabs. Look at that, how, how, how freaking prepared I am. So yeah, if I went three by three, that would mean that these are, they're gonna have to be changed out right here. So I'd like to keep the shape of the roof. So we're gonna go here and here, here. Okay, that's three, right? Am I right? I mean, I know that that's three, but uh, am I right? This is gonna be kind of a square, isn't it? And not really the circle that I had envisioned. How would I make this a circle? Would I have to, wait. Wait, how would I make this a circle? This is very confusing. Yeah, I can, let's, let's take a look at it as, as, uh, as is. Oh, darn it. I really, I like that little brick texture a lot. A lot. Nice job, Jerm. Uh, let's see here. We'll do this and this, and then take this out. Okay, what do we think of that? I don't know, how's that look? I guess that's kind of okay. I mean, I, I think this actually happens to be exactly centered and I didn't really care if it's centered necessarily, but the fact that it is, is okay with me. So this is gonna be the tree block. Let's put in a little bit of dirt right there. And I'm probably gonna have to do a custom tree here. I don't see a way that, that it's, this is gonna look right by doing uh, anything else. Well, that is not too shabby of a tree. I know a couple of those logs need to be turned around, but what do we think? It's kind of an interesting technique on a church, right? Oh man, I feel so good about this build. This is one of my favorite builds I've done quite a while, I think. I love it. I love, now we're only halfway done. We're only halfway done because we do interiors now and we do landscaping. Well, we always do landscaping, but but so we did the graveyard out back. I, I don't know if you if you saw it and you can't see it if you go through there, so you gotta go out this way, yeah. So we did a little bit of a graveyard. I kind of came up with the system. Maybe Arbor Druids don't mark their graves. I, I thought that would be kind of fun. Like they just put up just a, just a stone. Only family knows who's who. I think that's kind of a fun way to do it. And uh, yeah, this is their graveyard. It's very, very nature-y as you would expect from all this kind of stuff. And, and uh, yeah, you know, I went ahead and went crazy bone mealing and I just left all the flowers in. I thought that would be kind of nice. Usually you'd take out the flowers and leave the grass, but I thought, you know what, let's just leave the flowers in. And yeah, yeah, I I think it's kind of fun. I think it's it, fun, it's a graveyard, you know. I, I think I think it's cool though. I think it's a cool little thing, a little porch here. And and yeah, I think the out, the exterior of the build is, is good. It's quite good. So this is where we're gonna have to leave off for this episode because this episode has taken me several days. It's been quite a bit of building and kind of working on things and, and undoing them and redoing them and all that kind of stuff just to get a good layout of a, of a church that I like. But but yeah, I think it's I think it's a fun one. And there are some things that aren't detailed yet that still got to work out. Like I, I need all those big walls of andesite need to probably get some extra stuff added in. We'll, we'll do that because next episode, we're gonna start right here in Adria again. We're gonna be reworking the roads, reworking uh, pathing, getting a little park set up for them, uh, and the interior, and the fall to the ends. We have a big, big plate in front of us next episode, but for me, I think that's it for me. I think that's it for me for, for, for today. It's been, like I say, it's been a long project. Thank you so much for coming out and checking out and supporting the Realm of Vast and supporting all my friends, as I always say. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. It means everything to me. Thank you so much. We'll see you next episode. Everyone have a great week, and uh, yeah. We'll see you next time.